Okay, you guys hear me talk about a shark cage a lot. This is a shark cage right there. And you can imagine it's pretty much like what we're saying. Um, except for we're not uh, using this to get away from sharks. So what happens is I land on this thing just like a can. I take my spreader, I land on top of that thing. You can see it has the holes in the corners here. That's where I land to pick it up. The guys get inside this cage right here and they also strap off in here so that they can't fall out of the cage. And what we do is we take them up to the top and skim across the top of the ship so that they can unlock the cans um, that are up high. I told you we use those lashing poles to unlock the cans, but they cannot reach all the way to the top. So what we do is we take these shark cages, put the guys in there and we go across the top of the ship and they'll unlock like the seven and eight highs right there with a lashing pole where they can come down and knock them off of there. But that's what these cages are for. They're called shark cages. Now I can tell you that we used to go up with stow baskets and we still have some of those at other docks, which is just basically a basket that I'll sit on top of the cans up there. The guys will tie off with their harnesses and then they'll just walk across the, sh the top of the cans and look over the side and use their poles to um, unlash them. I have some videos of that I'll show you guys. That is a very scary job when you're up on top and leaning over the side to try and jam a lock down to unlock it on top of these cans. So that's why we have you tie off on it. But regardless, it's still a very scary job to be up there, man. A lot of guys don't like to go up and do it.